Hello, my name is Adley Monteroso and I'm here today to inform you about Apple Incorporation. Worth more than $700 billion, Apple Incorporation is one of the top 15 companies to work for in today's date. The giant technological company has been around for 44 years and has introduced us to some of the most innovative technology used in places all over the world. Just like many success stories, Apple was founded by a couple of friends in a garage in Cupertino, California. Today, I'll be going over the origin of Apple, the resignation of Steve Jobs and what happened when he was gone, and Apple Incorporation as we know it today. The origin. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak met through a mutual friend, Bill Hernandez, in 1971. Fernandez also becomes one of Apple's first employees. Wozniak builds the first computer, later known as the Apple I. Wozniak almost backs out until Jobs sees the computer and decides to sell his VW Microbus to help fund production. Wozniak also sells his HP calculator and they both found Apple Incorporation on April 1st, 1976 with around $1,300. The resignation of Steve Jobs and what happened while he was gone. In 1985, a year after they introduced the Macintosh to the world, Jobs resigns from Apple and starts his own company called Next. Not long after him, Wozniak also resigns, creating his own company called CL9 and goes on to develop the first universal remote control. With both co-founders now gone from Apple, Apple releases the Macintosh 2, the first colored Mac. In 1989, Apple releases the Macintosh Portable. It was lighter than anything else, but still weighed 16 pounds. It was what paved the way for MacBooks that we know today. Apple as we know it today. A few, a few years passed by, and after going through four CEOs, Jill Emilio becomes the fifth CEO of Apple, and is also the one who buys Next Software from Steve Jobs and eventually helps get him back to Apple. After becoming an advisor in 1997 and then the interim CEO, because Jill Emilio leaves, Jobs makes a decision to make a five-year alliance with Microsoft in order to get Office software on Macs. In 2001, Apple comes out with iTunes, OS X, and a famous iPod. Then in 2004, iTunes goes global and the iPod receives its first colored screen. In 2007, the game changes for Apple. They come out with the iPhone. In 2011, they add Siri to it and iCloud is introduced for the first time. And last time, Jobs resigns due to an illness. In October, Steve Jobs dies to a battle with pancreatic cancer. Then Tim Cook becomes CEO and Apple buys Beats by Dr. Dre for $3 million in 2014. They make Apple Music in 2015 to compete with Spotify. In February 2016, Apple goes under the spotlight when Apple refuses to make a backdoor to the San Bernardino shooter's iPhone for the FBI saying that it would be bad for America and it would really interfere with people's privacy. The case is later dropped when the FBI manages to hack into the phone. Conclusion. In conclusion, Apple Incorporation has had success, failures throughout its 44 years since being established. After all the change in leadership, death of Steve Jobs, and running with the law, Apple continues to give us new innovation and fashionable technology. Not only is it an expanding company, it's one of the best companies to work for, as you can take advantage of investing in Apple stock at a discounted price, 
reimbursement for continuing your education, and special pricing on Apple products. Apple has made its name be known for the last couple of years and will continue to be one of the biggest technological companies in the world for years to come. My work cited is Apple turns 40. Here's a timeline of how the tech giant evolved throughout the years by NewYorkDailyNews.com. Apple's incorporation make an impact on Apple. And Rawlinson Nick, Apple was 41 years old in April. Here's some history by Macworld UK.